So I've laid the scooter on the side so you can see what kind of panel work needs to actually be done. Because obviously what we want to do is put the electrics here, the battery here and then pretty it up a little bit. So the panel work we need is we need some floor pans because we want to stop things getting wet, we want to mount things, we want to stop it dropping through. So I need some floor pans. I thought I might put a shield here and I'm going to need some mud guards as well. Now I was thinking about doing this in copper, but obviously that's really expensive and copper is a little bit soft, but I do have a couple of these. These are steel tabletops. Now, um, they are galvanized steel. Now what I need to do with those really is sand off the galve and then I'm probably going to copper over the top of the bare steel and then lacquer on that. So we get the strength of the steel, but we get the copper look. So the jobs to do are fabricate those pans, fabricate the panels and get it all put on. So let's get on with that. So in order to make those, what I've got is this table shelf. It's from a, a kitchen table and I need to cut out a couple of bits of it for the pan. And I'm thinking about using this for the mud guards and a front guard as well. So I've cut the first pan out and that's going to be where the electronics goes. I need to put out the second pan, which is this one here that I've marked up. Now, the battery I'm planning on putting on that is uh, 75 millimetres deep. The depth I've got is 60 millimetres, so I'm going to make a little bent shelf dropping down a further 15 millimetres so the battery will fit really rather nicely in it. All I've got to do now is saw this out and bend it up. And to saw it out, obviously, I'm using an angle grinder. So let's do that. Now I've cut this piece of steel out and needs to form it. I basically form it in the same way when it's folding. Just stick it in a vise with a couple of straight bits of steel, clamp it down and force it over. <laughs> if you have a steel brake, of course, you can do an awful lot better job than this. I don't have a steel brake, but I do have a vise and a couple of bits of angle iron. So get it tight in there and then press it. And then clean it up by whacking it with a hammer. Done. Isn't it surprising the difference a few panels will make? Now, I've gone into some of the panels on this video and other videos I'll actually talk a little bit more about the other panels, particularly these copper panels incidentally. But let me give you a walk around. So here's the front view. You'll notice I've fitted a front light, some indicator lights, extended the handlebars up there and finally finished the adjustment to the forks required. And that's it from the side where you can see the front panels, the foot panel, which remember is just a cutting board. And obviously I've done a rear light cluster with a stop light and indicator lights and then a copper mud guard. And that's the back view looking towards the copper splash plate that we did in a previous video. And again, you can see the brake there on the right hand side with a rear brake. And then from this side, you just get another view of it. So all we have to do now really is attach the electrics. I've still got the uh, front control panel to do, but I'm counting that as part of the electrics. So the front control panel, fit the electrics, and she's ready to go. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the series, and thank you very much for watching.